This is pretty typical of the condition of older panels. There are some really nifty labels sent along with the kit to mark the wires. Put one around each wire and on a piece of paper make a reference note as to the numbers and what they went to. The Harkin block is attached to the forestay stem fitting. Now, which hole you put it in will depend on where your forestay is attached, but I would recommend that you move the forestay forward if possible and hook this block to the one aft. The lead is going to run down the port side of the boat and end up somewhere close to the jib halyard for convenience. Uh, this boat is a late 70s boat, so what you see here may be a little bit different than what is on your boat. Uh, the later model boats had an ice chest step here instead of this companionway step. These switch panels were located in a couple different places. On the later models, they were located here or over there. On this boat, it's located right here. And we can go ahead and start taking stuff apart. To gain access to the keel, or if there's a gap between the hull and the inner liner, cut a 3 8 inch piece of plywood backing plate about 2 inches wider than the bolt pattern all the way around. Bolt through this plywood and use fender washers with the lock washers. This will distribute the stress of motoring over a larger area of the hull. Now with your motor in place, it's very easy to lower or raise the motor and lock it in one of three positions. Put a layer of sealant around the perimeter of the cleat and dab around the screw holes. 